Now, I know Valentine's Day is very important to most girls, but here at Memorial, there's another special event the girls look forward to in February. That's right. The Powder Puff football game is very important here at Memorial. And Tug and Arjun went and talked to some of the girls to see what this year's Powder Puff game is going to look like. Hey, Memorial. I'm Arjun Gajab. And I'm Tug White. We're in between baseball and basketball seasons. Basketball season's finishing up, and baseball season is getting ready to start. So we're going to show you something bigger and better than both baseball and basketball. It's the Powder Puff game. The biggest game of the year. That's right, we've got some interviews from junior and seniors, players and coaches. Let's go check them out. I'm Amanda Collins and they call me Vince Wilfork. I'm Meredith Miller and they call me Tom Brady. <laughs> I'm Emma Matson, but also known as Brian Cushing. What's y'all's favorite part about the Powder Puff game? Um, since our seniors this year, we get to come out on top and I'm pretty sure we're yeah. going to wreck the yeah. juniors. We're going to wreck Actually, the juniors. Actually, we're going to Yep. What position do y'all play? I play defensive line. I play quarterback, and I play linebacker. So who's the craziest coach, or who yells at y'all the most? Um, I would have to say most definitely Brian Womack. 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 What are you most looking forward to to the game? Beating the seniors. seniors. Yeah, definitely beating, beating the, seniors. the seniors. And pointing to the scoreboard after the game. And also, Beating up Meg and Amanda. And wearing the really cute jerseys. Um. Hey, no. Hey. y'all's jobs as the coaches to help win? Well, uh, I work with the quarterbacks and I coordinate the offense. We uh, I think we're going to spread it out a little bit, throw it around. We're going to run a little bit of Oklahoma State, Boise State, Stanford, and Little Oregon. Patrick? I work with the receivers, best position on the field, period. Uh, I'm a spiritual booster. I um, take care of the ladies when they're getting down on the field. Um, I just try to keep the morale high on the football team so we can get a big victory. So, can y'all show us an example of how you impact the team, Walker? I sure can. What's up, fellas? Hey, fellas! Hey! Fellas! It's okay. Hey. Stop, Patrick. Hey, keep trying. Keep trying. Let's go. Push it. Push it. There we go. Let's go. Push it! Casey Grunt. Right. Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 225, 28 times. <laughs> yeah, we just get done with our uh, first first morning workout of two days. Getting ready for a pattern puff game. Uh, ladies in here hitting the weights. It's a real important part of our yeah. physical style of play here. Tell me. That's how we play football. Right. Looking around up the score. Yeah. That's right. I'm thinking, watch out, seniors. At least 60 points. Wow, it's going to be a great game. Tug, who do you think is going to win? I don't know. I think the seniors are going to pull it out, but we're all going to have to go and watch. I'm Arjuna Jawa. And I'm Tug White. That's it for sports this month. Back, Back to you, Ryan and Kelly. This year's Powder Puff game is going to be intense, and I can't wait to see who comes out on top. In other news, Kevin Ahmed and Muhammad have got a new segment this month. That's right, the Three Musketeers have put a comedic spin on the recent news. Thank you, Ryan and Kelly. Hello and welcome. Thanks for tuning in to Strange But Happening. Beside me is Kevin. Hello. And Mohammed. Hello. And we're here to update you with the latest, but strangest, craziest news on Earth. that luck has nothing to do with our everyday life? Well, 
with this video, we're gonna prove you wrong. It shows that it shows the most unluckiest person on the face of earth. Show the video. Show the video. Show the video. Show the video. Okay. Ja, mit sieben mit denen wir sind Hollywood, ja? Hast du da nichts gedacht? Nein, geht doch. Guck mir, was gibt's da? Hau dich den Mäulen. 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 Ja, dat is lekker. Deed ik ben je dan. Dat is een hele idee. Nee, joh. Oh, in je hoofd. Oh, 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 ze moeten het liefst bellen. Ja, maar. Zie je, dat is een hele bekel idee. En dat is goed, hè? A news reporter goes insane after a harmless animal hugs the reporter. Apparently, the reporter was very mean. But, uh, Can I find this in Arlington? Oh, good grief, yes. Oh, boy. Uh, let, let, let's see how long it is. Let's hold okay. it out. This guy this is uh, probably mm -hmm. close to five feet. Texas rat snakes are going to be one of the largest snakes that you find in the Metroplex area. <laughs> <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> If you ever experience something like that in the future, don't don't go crazy and be friendly, because if you love, you'll be loved. We all have seen thieves so many times, but I can assure you that you never seen this thief before. A surveillance camera in an electronic store ha has captured the best thief in the world, the smartest one. Smart enough that can even trick you. Yes, you. Do not try that at home. We'll leave you with the video now, and we'll let you judge. But let me tell you something. If you have find out what he's stolen before he run away, then I can assure you that you're gonna be the best, smartest security guard in town. Well, he's smart, all right. That's why we use good old TVs. <laughs>
between high school, going home, and being with your friends, you make a ton of decisions every day. Ramina and Sarah are here to talk about how to make the best ethical decisions you can. Let's check it out. Hey Mustangs, I'm Sarah Skolnick. And I'm Ramina, and as we all know, making ethical decisions can be hard. But due to serious consequences that may happen, we have to learn to make the right ones. If you surround yourself with the right people, you can avoid being dragged into bad situations. This is why we've made a few videos to demonstrate how making ethical decisions can improve your life. Let's take a look. All right, girls, let's go have a seat over here. Uh, this is a pretty important test that you missed yesterday, so I really want you to do your best, OK? All right, let's have a seat. You take one. Thank you. You have the other. Eyes on your own papers. I'm trusting you to do your best. Do you know any of this? Yeah, kind of. I, I don't know anything. Uh, I, I didn't study at all. I should have studied it. Yeah. you're doing? I don't remember these tests being so close. Come on, both of you, up, up. Give me those tests. No, but I, I studied so hard for this. Yeah, but you know, she wasn't very considerate about it, was she? But my test. Al, go to your office. Here's another example of how unethical decisions can have consequences. Sarah, I hate school. Yeah, me too, but you know how I get by. Yeah. Let me see here. Let me see if I got this. Oh, heck yes. Let's do it. I'll do a line and you do a line? Yeah. I'm going to ace these tests on this step. Oh, that's a good line. Come here. Ladies, uh, it's been a long time. What is that on your face? Uh, why are you behaving so strange? Why are you so nervous? I'm just nervous for my test, but it's all good. I'm going to do good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, girls, let's go take a seat now, okay? Enough is enough. Let's go. Um, I think you dropped something. Uh, that's not mine. Yeah, right. Come on, let's go to the office. I said move! Okay. Hopefully these few scenarios will help y'all make the right decisions in the future. I know many of y'all may learn from your mistakes, but there are some that you don't want to experience. Well, that's it for today, Mustangs. I'm Sarah Skolnick. And I'm Ramina. Back to you, Kelly and Ryan.